am Lisa Unger and I am speaking to you from my office in Clearwater, Florida, USA. And I'm here today to talk to you about Heartbroken, my novel that will publish in the Netherlands this week. I'd like to say in advance thank you to all of my Dutch readers. Your comments on Facebook and Twitter mean a lot to me. I've been excited to hear from so many of you, so thank you so much for staying in touch online. Um, Heartbroken was inspired by two trips that I took. One was to uh, an island owned by my aunt's family. It's been in her family for many, many years, and though I visited as a child, I um, only in the last few years visited again as an adult. And I was immediately inspired by the wild, natural beauty of the place, as well as its completely isolated nature, an island in the middle of a gray, uh, cold lake. And it immediately presented itself as a very powerful setting for a thriller. I had a similar experience at a place called Ketchemek Bay Wilderness Lodge in Alaska. And it too is a totally isolated place of wild natural beauty. And again, I, I sensed a, a kind of darkness, an almost supernatural darkness to the place. And um, that was very inspirational to me as well. So it was only a matter of time before after those you know, very inspirational experiences that I started to hear the voices that tell the story of Heartbroken. It's about three women, uh, Bertie Burke, her daughter Kate, and Emily, who um, at the beginning of the novel seems disconnected from the other two women. But even though they're all very different, couldn't be more different from each other, they find themselves on a collision course. They're all headed to a single point on the map, a place called Heart Island. And Heart Island is owned by Bertie Burke's family, and it's been in her family for generations. It also has great meaning to Kate, um, Bertie's daughter. She goes there every year as well, even though she doesn't love it in the same way that her mother does. And Heart Island, for Emily, is an escape. Um, it's a place she's running to to escape some very dark choices she's made. All the women come to the island with secrets that they're keeping, and consequences that they need to face. And meanwhile, a storm is brewing, and of course, cell phone reception is very poor, and um, some dark things are about to transpire on the shores of Hard Island. This is a meditation on family, on family relationships, on the crucible of being trapped together with multiple generations of your family in a single place. It's about, um, it's about, you know, how mothers and daughters, how those relationships intertwine and, and, and are complicated and how there's love and anger all sort of wrapped up together. And I hope also it's a rocket paced thriller that keeps you on the edge of your seat because I felt, you know, all of those different emotions and feelings in the writing of it. So thanks again to my Dutch readers and thank you so much for reading Heartbroken and all of my novels.